Are we rolling? Yes, welcome, Professor Eric Sorensen yep. from Princeton University. Thank you so much for being our student invited lecturer, Eric. Yes. Really great to have you. Welcome I'm to delighted Twitter. to be here. Yeah, are, are you on Twitter much? I, I have, as far as I am aware, no Twitter presence. Okay. And, and it, this is um, so the this inaugural is your, experience for me. This is me. great. This is yeah. great. Eric, uh, one of uh, the stories you told me about was in Japan when you uh, went for coffee. Yeah. Can you tell uh, tell our followers the story? Yeah, yeah, and, and I'm I'm kind of glad that you brought that that story up because um, um, this this is a teaching opportunity for me, and uh, so I go to Japan right uh, for the first time, and I um I like like many chemists I need to have coffee in the morning right. So I go down to the restaurant, right, and it's very elegant, very nice, and I sit down, and I'm really in need of coffee, okay? And the, the young lady, she brings this really elegant um, little pot, it almost looks like a, 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 it looks like a personal, like, coffee pot, right? And she sets it there, and, you know, I look inside, you know, it's, it's dark, looks normal, right? I pour it in my cup, Right, and then I take some cream, and this is where a smart person would um, would uh, would raise some questions. You pour the cream in there, and it, it just nothing happens. Like it goes somewhere, but it doesn't turn the color of the liquid. So I was like, you know, this is Japan. You know, the coffee. I shouldn't assume it's going to be the same stuff, right? So I just I drink it, and when I mean drink it, like I really drank it. All I took it all down, and it was soy sauce. <laughs> yeah. Soy sauce, pure. It's worse. It's worse than ingesting seawater. I'm here to tell you. And I thought I actually might might die from the experience because I, can you imagine how thirsty you're going to be for like days and days? It was terrible. So, um, what was the waitress's reaction? I think it, it, she was just horrified. I think that she clearly noticed that. Oh my God, this. This foreigner, this foreigner, you know, likes our soy sauce. It's pretty embarrassing. Did she quickly refill? The no, um, but I, I, um, I um, very in, in the wake of um, ingesting the soy sauce, I, um, I just sort of sought the check, and you know, I had to leave. I had to leave. Yeah. So, so my advice to all who might be seeing this on Twitter is to um, don't actually drink soy sauce. Okay. Yeah, I'm here well, to tell you. Yeah. So, uh, Eric, actually, since you're new to Twitter, there's, yeah. a, there's a hashtag that's trending called Kofefe. And Kofefe. So I think the meaning of Kofefe is drinking coffee when you think it's coffee, but it's actually soy sauce. Right. Oh, really? Yeah, this is something that, really? <laughs> also, um, this is this has happened to other unsuspecting travelers, yeah? Possibly. Yeah. So, um, Eric, can you tell us, you know, how do you stay fit? What's your oh, regime? for fitness? Oh. Now, how do you, do you, do you just know that I work out? How do you know that? No, we can tell, we can tell you oh. you're very uh, smart in your Well, I, um, I, um, I, I do enjoy <laughs> indoor rowing, yeah. I'm not a real rower, I'm more like an erger, I like the indoor rowing machine. And I do um, stadium steps is sort of a new passion of mine. So you guys have a, a football stadium here, right? No, no, we don't have a football team. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, okay. No. So I like, to do, I like to do stadium <laughs> stairs, you know, to get the heart rate up. You know, walking stairs in your building is, you know, for the time that you spend doing it, it's a great fitness activity. Okay. So. Okay. And one last yeah. question, Eric. Can you tell uh, the followers, like, one, you know, total synthesis that you're really proud of and you should kind of check out where we can learn a lot about? Oh. Strategy? Oh, well, that, wow. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fond of, um. Uh, of, I'm so fond of the achievements of my students. I, so I would sort of feel bad to like single out one, but I would say um, um, there was this synthesis of um, cyclostreptin, which used to be called FR182877, which involved Chris Vanderwall right, as a as a as a, um, as a as a coworker um, with David Vosberg. Of course, Chris Vanderwall is a prominent professor here, um, and um, you know I, I'm. I'm pretty proud of the way those two uh, young, young chemists worked together to make that happen. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you so much, Eric. Everyone, Professor Eric Sorensen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.